everyone, I am Anakshi and I welcome all of you to Tathastu. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic which is NAVIC, India's own GPS system. Now it is very important as well as very interesting. So we will discuss about it. So why is uh, why this topic is important for us? First of all, you all may be knowing that Apple uh, iPhone 15 will be launching in India very soon. And this is the first time that our own GPS system has been integrated into these phones. So that makes it important as well as interesting as well as a proud a proud thing for all of us so we are going to discuss about this topic but before that these are the courses which are offered by Tathastu ISIS for all of you there is MSLV which specifically targets your mains examination then we have NCRT module then there is PSLV which will specifically target your prelims examination and it will be launching very soon and then there is philosophy optional you can inquire about these courses on these contact numbers as well as you can also visit this address if you have any further doubts regarding it i hope you have got this information now let's begin with our lecture about navic india's own gps system so what is the context context is same i have given you a brief overview brief introduction that it is in news because the apple iphone pro and apple iphone pro max which will be launching in india uh, one more important thing about them is uh, that they have been the first time they have been manufactured in india so these iphone 15 will support navic india's native india's own gps system and the first batch of iphone these uh, these uh, this I, I, iphone 15 is the first batch of iphone which has been manufactured in india and it will feature functionality for this local gps system now government uh, indian government is keen that all these smartphone uh, all these smartphone makers, manufacturers should try to integrate this Navic in, into their hardware by 2025. So they will have to make certain changes because this functionality, this this particular feature is uh, integrated in hardware so they will have to ch make certain changes they will have to buy those chips which uh, support this functionality although it will increase the input cost which will ultimately pass down to the buyer so there are some negative sides also but first thing foremost important is that this is the first time this navic will be the uh, integrate has been integrated into these iphones now let's discuss what is this gps system so first of all the, uh, this uh, information is particularly important for your prelims examination so let's see first of all one more important thing is it is developed by indian space research organization or popularly known as isro oh and i hope all of you may be knowing about the isro by now uh, we have this successful launch of chandrayaan 3 on south pole so it, this uh, system also has been de uh, developed by isro and what does navic stand for it stands for navigation with indian constellation so this uh, this navic is the short form of navigation with indian constellation and let's discuss about it features now what are the features of this gps system so it comprises of a ground station network and a constellation of seven satellites so you can remember this number that it has these seven satellites and various ground station these satellites are important now four of these constellation satellites are in geosynchronous orbit and uh, the remaining three are in the geostationary orbit now just imagine it like a group of like a team of seven members in the sky just imagine them uh, these satellites in the sky they, that just imagine them like stars in the sky so three of them seem fixed which are in geostationary orbit and the remaining four which are in inclined geosynchronous orbit they will appear in the sky at the same time and at the same place every night when you want to uh, suppose uh, these four uh, satellites which are in geosynchronous orbit and if you have seen one of them over here other one uh, let's name them a b c d and if you see them at eight o'clock particularly just hypothetical example how they will function if you see them at eight o'clock over here over these uh, suppose this is the sky and you see that a b c d uh, you have seen this these fixed position over there at 8 o'clock so remaining days 
also these will appear at 8 o'clock in the same position over here only where you have seen them at the very first okay and the remaining geo, uh, geo which are geostationary as the name suggests stationary you will see that they will appear like this fixed constant over their position so these are uh, seven team uh, basically a uh, team of seven uh, stars seven constellations seven satellites and the ground station which will work in harmony to make this system successful so this these are the important features of this navic system you can also see this in this diagram so these are the satellites one two three four five six seven so these are the seven satellites which have been placed in geosynchronous and geostationary orbits now let's move toward next thing this provides restricted service now this navic system will provide two types of services one is restricted service it will be for strategic users and other is for standard position service and it will be for the civilian customers now moving towards this this particular information please focus it can be asked in your prelims examination these types of question have been asked so if we talk about the coverage area of this particular system our own gps system then it will of course it is logical that it will cover the indian borders but it will also cover 1500 kilometer beyond those indian borders so i hope please remember this information that along you know the examiner might confuse you that it will cover own because we have uh, we have been saying that it is our own gps system so yes you might get confused that it will cover only the indian borders it is not like that apart from the indian borders it will cover 1500 kilometer beyond that so its coverage area extends up to 1500 kilometers beyond indian borders and it also encompasses india our own country so it will uh, cover our own borders and 1500 kilom uh, uh, kilometers beyond our borders the user position now if we talk about the accuracy of this gps system the user position accuracy is said to be better than 20 meter and if we talk about the timings now the, they are better than these 50 nanoseconds so this is important specifically with your prelims examination the coverage area as well as the accuracy of this system and this we have understood that it is a team of seven satellites and ground station who will work in harmony to make it successful now let's move forward the major difference of uh, because there are other global navigation systems as well so the major difference between navic and other global navigation system is that navic maneuvers chiefly over indian territory and 1500 kilometers beyond it so this we have seen that it will uh, maneuver chiefly over our indian territory and then 1500 kilometer beyond it but the letter systems the other system we will discuss these letter systems as well these letter system they revolve around the earth twice daily so this is the major difference between our own gps and the other global gps system that those system will revolve around the earth twice and that too daily now let's move forward why do we need it so although there are various reasons why do we need it or most common is uh, it has been developed by isro they have this better understand of indian directions indian topography so they can guide us better so in simple terms these are there are many things that why do we need it but uh, foremost is that it has been developed by our own organization and indian organization so they have this better understanding and in times of emergency it will pro it will guide us better you know when we need to know about the directions and all those things so this is our own system it will guide us better we don't have to depend on others uh, specifically usa for this uh, gps system we will have we have uh, our own gps so it is important of course now for the greatest part it can significantly re uh, reduce our reliance on the navigation system which are run by the other nations so this is one of the most important thing why do we need it talking secondly it can be crucial during emergencies and disasters or conflict now it is being said that because in these during time these bad times we can rely on our own system because it is being speci uh, specifically during these wars or disasters because it is being said that 
during the Kargil war, these American, the, uh, when we asked them for this GPS, uh, uh, this GPS access to access the location of Pakistani troops, so they denied it. That is why India has decided to build its own GPS system so that we don't have to be dependent on other uh, nations uh, or other Western nations. So it is crucial during our emergencies, we will be self-reliant. We don't have to rely on other nations that please provide us with this access so that we can access them where our enemy is we will have our own uh, this GPS system now the Indian government claims that Navic can Navic can provide more accurate information yes it can provide more accurate information because it has been developed by our very own organization who have better understanding of our country who have this better understanding of our country's topography so yes it can provide more accurate information precise timings and forecast that can prove uh, beneficial at various junks, uh, junctures because it has been developed by our own organization. Now it believes it will help the economy develop in better manner. Yes, there are certain things when we stop relying on other nations, when we stop relying on other countries, then definitely they, it also has an impact on our economy. So these are certain things why or certain benefits of the our own GPS system. Now let's talk about its application yes it will have various applications it can be used in multiple things let's see few of those things it can be used in terrestrial aerial and marine navigation right it is navigation system of course then disaster management when we uh, when we will have this precise information then we can manage those uh, disaster we can if we can't stop them we can try to mitigate them so it will definitely help in this dis uh, disaster management vehicle tracking we use a lot for it and then fleet management integration with mobile phones yes uh, this is the reason why we are discussing it because it has been integrated in apple iphone 15 then precise timings mapping and geodetic data capture terrestrial navigation aid for high as well as travelers so they can uh, have this precise location precise timing accurate information about the topography and this visual and voice navigation for drivers so it will be beneficial for them as well so these are the various applications you can see for which this system can be used now moving forward talking about the other global GPS system this particular information is very important for a prelims examination you see these are very easy questions which can be asked and you can have an edge if you remember these because apart from discussing this because this is a news this navic is a news because uh, because of the reason that it has been integrated into this latest model but apart from that what about the other global system which exists so these are the other global systems us has its own gps system then uh, european union has galileo russia has this glonas china has bidu and now india has navic so these are some of the global uh, these gps systems so this is important specifically your uh, with your uh, prelims examination they can give you like this and they can ask which of the following are correctly matched only one only two only three the type of options they are giving nowadays so always remember these kind of information apart from because you will remember this that NAVIC is in news so we show we will study it with all our dedication but apart from that please try to remember these also this is also very important uh, the other global system US has this GP European Union Galileo then Russia has this uh, GLONASS and then China has B2 these are the other system and India has now NAVIC so this is important now moving we are uh, done with this and I hope you found the session very helpful if you found it helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you